I, I let's see. What do I do? I'm um, I'm sure. I guess I, you'd call me a retired photographer. I took photographs for 50 years. Um, most recently, taking photos of Dartmouth and all the local nonprofits. Well, I guess I started off in photography a long time ago, and I can't I can't tell you why. I don't know. I guess cameras were fun and. It just seemed to fit. I was living in Northampton, Massachusetts at the time. Um, I was in school at the University of Massachusetts and living in a place that had little cottages around. So I started off with a, a little dark room in my bathroom and took photos of these cottages and people liked them and that was it. I carried that on through and moved up here and here we are. This show is interesting in that I um, during the pandemic, I had three shows canceled. So this is sort of a collection of maybe three different shows. So I have some color work here, where generally landscapes, Mexico, one of my favorite spots in the world, Cochise's stronghold in Southern Arizona. And then I have, I guess you could call it sort of street photography, but it's not all on a street, but it's a lot of candid stuff here and there. And um, th those are the things I really like to do. The introductory photograph down here is, I happen to be in New York City Library with my camera and sitting on a bench like this and right across from me was, um, as you see, two people on their cell phones. Um, and I thought it was just the juxtaposition with just too much to, to stand. So there it is. And then um, over here, there's a series sort of of reflections. Um, this is Italy. And of course, I like the combination of Italy is big on shoes. And of course, they have these fancy shoes, very expensive shoes. And all the people there are wearing sneakers. I just thought it was interesting. Another window reflection in Maine. Um, I, I don't know, it's just too crazy to describe. It's just too much going on and I liked it. Um, here's another one, one of my favorites. This is in Italy, Bologna. It's hard to tell what's what, but um, there it is. Couldn't resist the shark eating the, <laughs> the legs. <laughs> and finally, uh, um, just a shop window in Bisbee, Arizona. Another, pro I had started a project in Bisbee, Arizona um, when I first got my digital camera and I lost some of the photos and they were irreplaceable. There were people who were dying and that's a, that's a long story, but that, this is part of that project. This is one of my very favorite photos. Now why, I don't know. I just thought I nailed it on that one. These are sort of a portrait series down here. Or there's a local one down here of Lucky's. Um, Lucky's the coffee shop in Lebanon, on the corner on the green in Lebanon. And it's, it's my love of the, the Southwest is, was a mural painted in the background, two people having coffee. And then museum fatigue is over here, as I mentioned. The, um, you get tired in there. And these are some old folks like me who had had enough. Uh, this is at the Cooper Hewitt Museum in New York City, and they're dead asleep on a couch. So common for me, I thought it was an interesting shot. And finally, the last portrait over here was just a shot in Italy, but this guy says Italy to me, <laughs> just the way he's sitting there drinking his coffee. That's the sort of thing I like to do. Art for me is, uh, I don't know, it's a crazy scene, and it's not, it's not anything I'm used to. So I, um, I like the photographs, I like to take photographs, I like to make the prints, and I'm glad people like them, I show them. But beyond that, um, it's just what I do.